The Story of You Everybody makes up stories, stories about themselves. As the protagonist of your own little fiction, you are at the center of the universe, and the universe revolves around you. Your intellect tells you that the universe is quite indifferent to your wants and needs. Yet in your little fiction, there has to be a center somewhere, and by default, that center is you. This leaves you with a contradiction, a conflict, what may be the central conflict of the fiction that is your life. You are the protagonist, the hero, endowed with special qualities, gifted with superior insight, but in the real world that you live in, the characters you interact with have their own agendas which you cannot control. They are living their own little fictions, and your little fiction means very little to them. So you find ways to align your little fiction with the fictions of the people in your world. You find common beliefs and ideals, heroes who you can adore. The people who share your belief system say that you are now a part of an us, a we, that your little fiction is now their fiction too. Then along comes this guy named Jesus, who claims that the kingdom of God is at hand, yours for the taking, right here, right now, if you just walk through the open door. Die unto yourself and be born again, says Jesus. Give up your own little story, and the universe of stories will be yours. So, what do you do? You make Jesus a part of your story, with you in the central role. It remains all about what it's always been about. You make Jesus all about you.